Greetings. This is Greg Bem at Spokane Community College Library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access and use the ebook collection from EBSCO. From the SEC Library homepage, click on A to Z databases, and you will be taken to this screen. Then click on the letter E to filter by E databases. Then find ebook collection in the list and click on the link to go to the ebook collection homepage. Note that this is also an EBSCO database and looks a lot like other EBSCO databases. The top bar, which is the EBSCO bar, allows us to do a new search, gives us links to the three different ebook collections we have access to, and then has a variety of tools on the right, including creating a free account or signing into the free account to manage research, accessing that research with one's folder, preferences for the database interface, including language, getting access to the research help 24 seven through the SCC library and so on. Within this advanced search screen, the first thing we see is that we are searching in the ebook collection. If we click show all, we will see that we actually are searching in three different collections. Ebook collection is the abbreviated title as we describe all of our ebook collections, including the academic, and community college collections. If I wanted to, I could click choose databases and see all of the EBSCO databases that we have access to through the library. And those include ebook and non ebook collections. Note that the three ebook collections are checked, indicating those have been selected to search within. Beneath the three different search bars, which allow for keyword searching and Boolean operators, I have the ability to access the basic search screen, which can be helpful if folks find the advanced search screen intimidating. And I can also see my search history for this session. Underneath that, I have a variety of filters that I can enable from the get-go to help narrow my search results before I see my search results. Note that full text, publication dates, and language are a few of the filters that might be helpful for you as you're doing searches for ebooks. I'm going to leave everything unchecked to show the full range of results for my search demonstration. I also want to note that after I enter in a keyword, I can select where to search for that keyword. I can search, for example, in the text of the document or in the author name field, the title field, and so on. For this demonstration, I'm going to search within everything. I'm going to click search, and it's going to take me to the search results screen. Note that a search for poetry yields 20,000 results. Also note that EBSCO provides a did you mean autocorrect, and in some cases this can be helpful for typos, and in some cases it's not helpful because it's just a similar word. The left-hand side of the screen provides all of the filters, many of which were available on the advanced search screen, so those should be of no surprise. And in the middle, we can see the listing here. Note that even though this is the ebooks database that we're searching, we also are given some key videos, as we also see when searching other EBSCO databases. The search results have the title of the book listed with a link to the record page, information about the author and the publication, subjects and descriptive information, and then a variety of options for accessing the book directly, including a PDF full text link, an EPUB full text link for e-readers, and a full download. You can also access the table of contents, you can see most relevant pages from this ebook based on keyword frequency. There is the preview of the book cover. And then on the right, you have a couple of different options, including a magnifying glass over a page, which gives you a preview of the record page. 
and the ability to add this source to your research. Let's click on this first ebook, Poetry, the Literary Agenda, and take a look at the record page. The record page includes a lot of what we just saw in the search results, including links to the book, relevant pages, table of contents. It also includes the abstract or description of the book, which is important to look at before we dive into such a large resource. One nice thing about EBSCO is it does provide snippets based on the keyword frequency for what they call most relevant pages from this ebook, which might be helpful in navigation and finding where to look for our specific keyword or topic. Down below, we also have the table of contents listed out. And similar to other EBSCO products, we have a list of tools on the right for saving this document to our research, printing it, emailing it, creating a citation using the citation generator, including in formats like APA, Chicago, and MLA. And finally, and importantly, the permalink tool. Note that you should use the permalink tool and not the link that is in the browser, as the link that is in the browser will expire and not work after the session, whereas the permalink will. If I want to browse the content of this book, I can click on PDF full text and it will load the book in the EBSCO ebook viewer, which is slightly different from the article or PDF viewer. It does provide the viewing screen in the middle as with PDFs and articles. And you can note that there are many pages in ebooks typically, so this is a long scrolling experience. But also notice you can navigate to the different sections and chapters of the book using the navigation on the left. There are extra tools at the top of the screen. You can save specific pages, email specific pages, print specific pages, and so on. There's a full download option. And you can also download the individual chapters, by the way. You can also search within the book if you wanted to. And you can also create notes around the book, which will be saved if you are signed into the free EBSCO account. That is a general overview of the EBSCO eBooks collection. If you have any questions, please reach out to the SCC librarians, as we will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.